Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we're talking about computer speed. There are a few things that you can actually um, help improve your PC speed with um, hardware that isn't very expensive, often less expensive than buying a brand new PC that also will actually speed up your computer. One of them is RAM memory or random access memory. Over years of Tekkai duties, I can tell you that the amount of memory people have on their PC um, and, and the impact it has on the speed of the computer is greatly underestimated. The PCs today, a lot of them come with the bare minimum of what is RAM. And having more RAM actually often speeds up the computer. Why? Because the computer's RAM or random access memory is the fastest thing that exists in a computer. So what happens with that is that the programs, Windows itself, everything you do will want to use some of the RAM memory that you have. Now, a lot of people are in the impression, well, I'm going to use your RAM optimizer software and stuff like that. You, These are useless to help out in speed of PCs. How much RAM do you have and how much RAM do you need? To know how much memory you have, you can right click on the bottom in the taskbar, go into task manager, and in the performance tab, you will see the amount of memory that is available in your PC and the memory options. So this computer, for example, that I'm using now has eight gigabytes of RAM. That is okay. If you have eight gigabytes, you and you're not a, a big user of computers, uh, you know, just do some internet stuff like that, you're probably okay. Uh, if you have four, I would actually tell you, you know what, upgrade your memory to more than four. If you're a user of a big software, you have a lot of uh, programs open at the same time and so on, even eight, I would recommend that you could actually upgrade this to more than that. In general, I would say that today's PCs to run smoothly and run well should be around 16 gigabytes of RAM. For most people, more than 16 is useless. 16 plus is going to be useful for people that will, for example, uh, be gamers or use heavy software like Photoshop and, and software that requires a lot, you know, will work with big, large files. So, um, in general, if you have four or less, upgrade the RAM to at least eight and even better, 16. You will immediately see an improvement in speed of your computer with Windows 10. If you're at eight, it'll all depend on what you do. You always have this graphic that shows you how much memory you're using. If your memory usage rarely goes above 60%, uh, you're probably fine. If you see that your memory usage is much higher than you know 60%, then there's an indication there that you should actually have 16 gigabytes. And if you do purchase a new PC and want to make sure that it's fast, I would recommend today that you always purchase a PC with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard. Uh, there are most PCs that I see that are uh, on a you know lower price are at eight gigabyte. It's not bad, but 16 it's even better. So upgrading RAM is actually an easy task for a lot of computers out there. And of course you can have the help of somebody that knows what he's doing. Uh, and, or if you bring your PC in to a checkup for a tech guy, well, why not ask him to upgrade that memory to, uh, you know, have more RAM, meaning that you'll have more speed because the more memory you have, the more the uh, computer will use it and the uh, less access to the hard drive it has. So it usually speeds up the PC quite a lot. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.